All right, this chapter is called Coordinates and Design. Um, and our first section that we're going to cover in uh, this chapter is called the Cartesian Plane, otherwise known as the uh, coordinate grid. Um, I'll just take, give you a quick peek at this stuff. Um, these are some things that you're going to be able to do uh, once we're done. Label all the quadrants, the parts of the graph, and uh, where positive and negative, negative numbers lie. Here's some of the terms that you're going to know. Cartesian plane, x-axis, y-axis, origin, what the quadrants are, and then in the next video you'll be, <coughs> excuse me, you'll be setting uh, coordinates, reading coordinates uh, on the actual Cartesian plane. Oh, uh, vertex is another one that we're going to go over as well. Okay, so we're going to go right here, and I'm going to label some things for you. I'm going to pause after each term uh, just to see if you know where it is, and then I'll give you the answer. So, first thing we're going to start with is the x-axis. Where do we find the x-axis? This line right here is the x-axis, otherwise known as the horizontal axis because it's... Uh, that's right, horizontal. Okay, so this is our x-axis. The y-axis is the other one. It's the up and down one. That is the y-axis. That's the otherwise known as the vertical axis. Okay, so y-axis. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Whoops. The other spot that we're going to label here is right at this intersection right here. That is called the, that's right, the origin. Origin means the beginning or where everything starts. And if you look at our numbers here, we go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Same on this side. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And then 0. And the same with these ones. 2, 1, 0. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So everything ends up in the origin, or I should say starts at the origin. Um, yeah, so that's that part. Um, now, these four areas uh, of our Cartesian plane are also labeled. And they, they're labeled as quadrants. And this one is our quadrant one or first quadrant. Over here is our quadrant two or second quadrant. Over here we have, you guessed it, our third quadrant. And last but not least we have our fourth quadrant. Okay, so when we are um, looking at actual coordinates, just by looking at the numbers we can see what quadrant they will lie in. So for example, if you have a quad or sorry, uh, some coordinates, let's say it's negative four and five, positive five. Negative four on our x-axis first will get us to there. And then a positive five gets us up to right there, in which case you're in the second quadrant. Okay. But that's actually all I'm going to cover in this little video. Um, feel free to rewind it, see if you can label all the parts, and do it again.